How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Saturday and I got a weekend off so it's pretty good. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, always build coding projects to get better. And you know, if you don't know my history, I've been a uh, I've been a uh, student of of uh, coding or or development for about a year and five months now. So I'm I'm definitely uh, learning how to use Git and GitHub, which is a uh, technology to not only uh, you know, it's like a version control basically. And uh, you know I'm I'm learning that probably this coming week, Lord willing. But <clears throat> but to be a better programmer or a better developer or a better software engineer, uh, you always gotta build coding projects. Um, especially if you're trying to get a first job as a junior developer, which is my goal. Um, in, in it is part of the will of the Lord as well. And, you know, it's going to take, it's going to take time. Um, um, you know, after I finish, uh, finish, uh, learning GitHub, get in GitHub, then it's time for me to start solving, uh, JavaScript algorithms and stuff like that to get ready for the technical interview. And, um, uh, and, and and you know just testing myself that do I know these things in order for me to get a job but if I, if I want to do that I got to learn how to uh, build projects uh, building a portfolio which I created a, a developer portfolio website uh, the, um, I can't remember the name of the website uh, that you know. I got free hosting and free uh, uh, use uh, dom domain name, and I used that to build up my portfolio, uh, building like who I am, my mini cover letter to my uh, resume, and also my projects. Now, probably, I'm probably gonna be adding. Uh, algorithms and so solution to the algorithms and you know hopefully they can um, you know you know stand out basically so and so as a developer or junior developer uh, if you're going to be one you have big projects as you're learning you know if you are three months into coding or three months into uh, your front end development or back end development, always create projects uh, of what you're learning. It doesn't matter if, like, for example, like I'm, I'm learning front end right now, so I gotta learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, plus uh, the different other technologies that you need to learn. Like vanilla JavaScript or Ajax or JSON or uh, any other technologies of uh, uh, React, uh, Angular, Vue, JS. All these things are a essential if you want to become a successful developer. And once you learn these these uh, I say the technology toolboxes. Now you start building a project. Doesn't it even doesn't have to be big. You know, make it simple that the employer knows that you can do the job. You know, that, you know, that, that truly makes sense. So <clears throat> always build projects to get better. You know, even even if you are deciding to do more advanced coding outside of your job. You know, do it. You know, not only looks good at your portfolio, but you are, but you are actually learning a lot of different technologies that you know no employer ever seen. You know, they're just 
So, you know, that, that's my thought. So, again, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you hope you guys have a great, great weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys again on Sunday with the word, which is going to be powerful and amazing. And hopefully, I hopefully I can make it a little bit more longer video tomorrow and uh and giving god praise and glory so may god bless you may god keep you i see you guys again next time